Hello, Mel Mafia. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I know y'all miss me. I miss y'all. I've been going live like every morning. And it's just a way for me to connect more with my supporters. And I have definitely connected with y'all a lot better going live. But today I'm going to do a little shopping video because I have not done a shopping video in a while. Because you know what I'm saying, we should just drop. So we about to go to Walmart and do some shopping. So come along with us. We are here. Am I recording? Oh yeah. Mr. Sicky Sick. <laughs> they got a cart waiting for us as soon as we get in here. I don't know why they got the heat on because it's about to be 80 degrees. These probably don't work or they stuck, yeah. Y'all was upside down. They running out of fruit. Look, it's empty. We don't get our produce from here. And I'm not going to say it again. Because Walmart be selling fake produce. So we go to the farmer's market. Oh, babe, look. I don't have any pumpkin attire. I want to get some. We're here for food first. We get play stuff later. So... Nova, oh my God, this focusing thing. It's not focusing. So Nova School has like dropped their Halloween stuff and well, the sign up list for the Halloween. So we're in this section. So I'm gonna see if we can find something that we can take to her school. Hold on, hold this. I found these cheese curls and it's 18 bags. I'm gonna get them. Six, I'm lying. This can't be. No, that's for this. It's $6.98, I think. So we're gonna get that. And I'm probably gonna get like napkins and stuff. I'm gonna get napkins, napkins and plates. And some little cupcakes, and that's it. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I like the overdue yeah. stuff. Oh, I didn't get any candy. I was gonna do candy bags. I can get that another time. Because I don't like spending my food stamps on stuff like this. So, on sale, $2.53. That's the cart guy. Dun, dun, dun. Say hi, Mr. Cart guy. Uh. <laughs> He's sick. He's sick. We still have a uh, rice, but we are running low, so I'm gonna get this big bag, 688. Here you go, babe. And it's Carolina Jasmine rice. The great value kind is actually $5.97. So we're gonna get the great value jasmine rice instead and put that back because it's almost a dollar cheaper. I'm struggling with this. I don't know what the hell going on with me today. All right, moving along swiftly and professionally. We do need some more mild taco seasoning, $1.98. I usually don't take things from the front and this feels, but can you get one from the back? Cause that one feels a little gritty on the outside. Then da -da. Look everybody, it's Chris. <laughs> I like to get on his nerves cause he get on mine. He's sick. So that makes it even more fun. Dun, dun, 
All right. Ooh. Oh. I gotta get Nova's macaroni and cheese. She only eats this brand. Eight forty-seven for an eight-pack. They're individual cups. She about to get great value brand. And then I'm gonna buy a pack for the house because I might cook it with dinner one day. Two ninety-eight. Here, babe. Then, if I'm ever not cooking one night, they eat the rice and chicken ones. They are on rollback for a dollar. So I get like six of these just to have in the house. So I can pack them for lunch. So that would be six dollars for six of these. I have to get my stamina up because I'm really struggling with like walking and doing anything physical. I feel like I run out of breath a lot faster. I know I am pumping a lot of extra blood because I'm growing extra organs. I don't know if that's the reason why, but it's scary. And I'm gonna get some of these cupcakes. They're $3.98. Oh wait, I could just get a big pack for $7.47. For Nova School. Should we get these now or should we wait until next week? Cause they're gonna be sitting in the house. I don't want them to go bad. Alrighty. While we're here, we need to get a can opener and a spatula too. We do need pasta sauce. I like the chunky. $4.98. Ragu chunky. I think we should start getting like the big boxes instead of buying small box of pasta noodles. Yay, nay. Yeah. One ninety two. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it'll be more. So we're getting penne, roti. Two pound spaghetti. These are all 192. I like thin spaghetti though. Hold on. I'm gonna look for thin spaghetti. People are in here looking at me like they never saw anybody record. It's life changing. Alright, so I found the focus. I found the thin spaghetti, two pounds. ziti noodles I'm gonna make ziti since this is only a one pound box it's 98 cents these used to be 88 cents so Walmart is in part of inflation too they had right. so I'm gonna get the family size Great value chicken broth that is one ninety eight. Here, babe, put it in the cart. And I'm gonna get beef broth that is also one ninety eight. Great value brand. She wanted to come down here, but he said something to her because I was recording. Let's wait until they get out the aisle. Now, see, I'll be wrong if I stood in this aisle all day because. I really don't want to come off as that type, but if nobody is bothering you, please mind your business because you're going to get yourself in something that you can't get out of. And I hate to pull the race car. I hate to be that person, but please leave me alone. 
I'm trying to make and earn a living so I can have my family straight. You feel me? You feel me? All right, now, boom. So I could get some of these because they're a penny cheaper than getting them from the dollar store. Or are they because taxes? So it's not really a penny cheaper because our state don't have taxes. See, you got to think. You got to think. Huh? We don't do doodles, right? No, we still got... Um, we, we still got soup. Look at that big bag of m &Ms. Babe, watch out. Look, Halloween cookies. Now, we do need cooking oil because I do want to fry some fish. So, I'm going to get... They said we're not supposed to be eating this stuff. Should we get a big thing of it or a small thing? Because we don't really fry too much food. I'm just going to get a small thing. The small bottles are $3.97. And I got great value brand. Wesson would be $4.47. Crisco would be $4.88. So basically, like with this stuff, you're paying for the brand. We don't need any of this stuff. So I just came up with an idea for my husband because he needs some little creativity from his wife. So we're going to get this marshmallow fluff that's $2.82 and some Rice Krispie cereal which we can get on Wick. And he's going to make Rice Krispie treats with the kids. And we also have cookie cutters so when they are done they can be cut into different shapes before you put them in the oven. That's going to be so fun. Yeah, I know, but we're about to get some butter now. Yeah. Okay, everything last you last. So we got Kinder's buttery garlic and herb. This is one of my favorites. It was four ninety eight, and I put this on like barbecue chicken and ribs. This was two ninety eight. This is smokehouse maple. Now we are in the cereal aisle. The Nutri-Grain Bar aisle. This is where we get all of the kids' snacks and cereals and stuff at. So, what should we get? Are we getting a 32 pack of Nutri-Grain Bars? All right. So, okay. So we're gonna get. This is a 32 pack for $7.44. <laughs> Babe, you was quick to grab it. What you thought I was going to run into the wall? Nah. <laughs> All right, now we need to find Rice Krispies cereal. It could be on brand or off brand, don't matter. They both taste the same. I prefer off brand because we're on a budget. Okay, here we go. See rice crisps. They are a dollar ninety-seven. <laughs> the on brand would have been three ninety-six. No, thank you. I really need to start eating healthy. Babe, you know what? I need you to help me though. I need some motivation to eat healthier. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I really need to eat healthier. I was looking at this, the um, this stuff. Jesus, I can never get it. Oatmeal. Yeah, the oatmeal. I always like the fruit and cream ones. I'm gonna get the Great Value bag. It's one sixty two, one eighty two. And. Because we've been, well, I've been really initiating getting McDonald's for breakfast every morning. 
which is not good because I have polycystic ovaries. So I know that because I'm insulin resistant, I know I'm going to have gestational diabetes. I can feel it. My A1C was already high before getting pregnant. And I was on Ozempic. That's when I lost all that weight. But now that I'm pregnant, I cannot take Ozempic to balance my blood sugar. Because it stopped the cravings. So now I'm trying to get myself back to where I need to be. I'm trying to get healthier. So I need to start eating healthier. My cravings are really kicking my behind. And I really don't want to get diabetes. I want to live to see my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. So that's the step like as you see now like i'm kind of out of breath right now like it's really bad oh look at these these are like to make little egg bites see anybody can sell me anything <laughs> I, I and they microwavable i don't like microwave eggs though but babe, isn't that nice it's like little egg bites like you can put like spinach and stuff in them like quiche kind of but not cheese yeah, it's called Egg Bites, babe. Get yourself together. Oh, look at this. See, this is what I said, like, this looks like it's something new. And it kind of reminds, it's instant smoothies. But we have a blender and we have a juicer, so. I'm, a, I'm taking me one of my drinks today. You doing what? One of my drinks. Your smoothies? Yeah. I fell, we fell back from, I'm like, I'm all congested. I'm like, fuck it. You can, I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna get some, oh, we should've got some, some turmeric when we was over there. We need to get some turmeric. We gotta go back over there, but not right now. But we wanna go back over there and get the turmeric. Y'all can tell where we live at because we have an old Eagles, a whole Eagles department in our Walmart. And we just won. And we just won, so. Oh, we gotta get the kids something for Spirit Week. They have um, Eagles Day. So yeah, if you want to know the area we live in, you could tell by that. So we're gonna get two boxes of the crimpets, and they are 368. My daughter loves these. And I know these are not healthy, but when you have kids that when you have an autistic child, you know. And sometimes it's super hard. Then they all gonna be like, oh, y'all got all the just salt and sugar. We go to the farmer's market for our fruit and vegetables. We go to the meat market for our meats. So we go to three different stores on our shopping journey. And today the farmer's market is not open. They're only open from Thursday to Sunday. Babe, you wanna get them pound cakes? Oh, sorry, go ahead. The camera's facing towards me. I mean, not Nova. Maybe you could try these ones because she thinks those ones are sticky. No, that was the lemon one. The lemon ones were sticky. Well, that would be easier. And I didn't like, like them blueberry muffins either. They were sticky. Well, I ain't have we're gonna get these. They're on sale for three forty-eight. That's probably why I only saw one or two missing out of here. Oh, the blueberries. Yeah. Um, the blueberry muffins. Yeah. So what else we need to get from over here? The muffins. They're muffins. So you want to get Nova powder donuts? Cause she ate my whole pack of them. Those are the great body ones. Are these individually wrapped? Cause if they are, oh yeah. So we're gonna get these, great value. They're $4.57, individually wrapped, so they're easy to take for her school, after school snack. Easier to put up. <laughs> so we get the 10 pack. Navy likes the, <laughs> babe, you act like you're on a commercial. Well, I can't, so I'm all congested, I probably barely understand. Navy likes the chocolate chip and Nova likes the party muffins and they are $6.98 for 10 which is a better deal than $3.68 for 5 Also, uh, actually Navy likes both she'll eat either 
Because if she run out of her, she'll go grab Nova. Do you think we should just get two of the party pack muffins? Because she haven't been really going towards them lately. Did she pick them out herself? Well, she picked them out herself today. Today, but uh, most of the time she wants the party ones. Just get another the part, another party pack one. You think they're gonna fight over them? I don't have the, I don't have time for them fighting. They just gonna have yeah. to learn to share. Yeah, that'll be all right. Cause when she do this eat them, nobody don't ever say nothing. This would be a test of character. Yeah, yeah, they be sometimes eat with the blueberries. You and sure? Or what? We should get the chocolate chip. It'll be or, right. oh, okay. Because right. whatever, for whatever reason, Nova don't really pay attention. So when Navy grabbed one of her, like even this morning, Navy grabbed her empty bag and gave it to Nova, and they were like, "Thank you." All right, we need some bread. Oh, someone said on my live this morning to get brioche bread, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I hope I am. Brioche, brioche. Um, I'm a very good reader and a very good speller, so if I have not heard the word by hearing, then that's why I'm mispronouncing it because I'm not really a bread eater, but they said it's really good to make um, French toast with, and I'm going to try it. When you look at the bread aisle and you see all different types of bread from all different types of brands... That should give you the motivation to do what you need to do. No matter how many people are doing what you're doing, there's always an audience for someone. Don't forget that if you ever want to start YouTube. Babe, we're looking for a brioche. B-R-I-O-C-H-E. Bread. They said it's good for making... Um, French toast with, and I'm not gonna ask the worker because they never know anything. Oh, here we go. But it's it's hot dog buns. See, look, I thought it was like brioche. See, but those are hot dog buns. These are all buns. So. Let's go back. Let's go back. Back, 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 back. All right, friend. I don't see the bread. Um, my husband don't see it either. So maybe they don't have it here. So instead, we're gonna just get. Where's our regular bread at? Oh, it's right in front of you. The king bread. For, you getting a small loaf? I said king. For it's 278. It's a Philly thing. We have jelly and peanut butter. Don't need to go over there. We also have honey. So we don't need to get honey. Do you want any jam? Do you like strawberry jam? Nah. All right, do you want bagels? I'm gonna get some English muffins. They are $3.48. Boom. So, I love my Johnson Veals. These are four dollars and eighteen cents. We might not put them back. Oh no! Don't get them. Don't get them, honey. Don't get them. How much is this bacon? Cause it looks expensive. Ten dollars. <laughs> you gotta read it. Yeah, ask him. That's thick cut. I'm looking at this one. Oh, that's the same one. Hardware smoked. I guess we're gonna have to get it. Oh, that's this one ain't too bad. Shopping for the month, so. That is 
He's so extra. Like, you did not have to mess up these people's shop. <laughs> It all I know it's a hassle trying to get bacon in there. I will never buy a great value bacon again. I brought it. I don't know what happened. We do need some kibasi because the old one I didn't get to um, put it up. This is $3.98. And we need some hot dogs for the kids. Ballpark. Get the big pack. How much is it? Beef. It is eight eight eighty seven. All right. So guys, if you haven't watched any of my videos, this section right here, this aisle, all of this stuff is like individually wrapped. So it's gonna cost more because it's convenience. Excuse me, I'm a little congested. So like, this is convenient. You can pull it out and throw it in a lunchbox or have it as a snack. You're paying for convenience when you get the individually wrapped stuff versus buying it by the box. So I am gonna get some of this stuff today because I need some convenience in my life right now because I've been super tired lately. So yeah, please forgive me, <laughs> please forgive me. So I'm going to get them the colorful goldfish and it is $6.68 and guys also make sure you aren't dogging me in the comments about what I feed my kids <laughs> because y'all have to remember that people are human and they have feelings okay I'm not sure if they're allowed are they allowed to have peanut butter at school Because I don't know, because peanut butter is like a serious allergen. So that's why like a lot of schools just do without it. I think I'm just going to be on the safe side and not do it. Because I don't want to get in trouble if anybody kid dies on my watch. <laughs> I don't even think they would eat that. Probably not, no. Not navy, not the way she has everything texture-wise. She doesn't like, navy doesn't like anything with sauce. She doesn't like ketchup, she doesn't you know like what? syrup. She's just like Amar. I don't know how he eats. You know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't uh, like, he really doesn't like no type of sauce, no ketchup or nothing. He like everything plain. But yeah, He navy, probably, never mind, I can't say that on camera. Yeah, navy probably eat that. She'll probably eat the crackers, but she won't. Like I want to see if they try like the Nutella sticks. Like that is like that's thirteen dollars. Y'all can kiss my. Like I said, paying for convenience. So of course it's gonna be more. But like this stuff is like on a cheaper end. Like the chippers, the bears. It's like off brand stuff, but it's only three twenty eight. So if you want convenience on a budget, always go with great value. I think I'm going to get them. And then they're made in a nut free facility. So I think we're going to get these snack packs. They're 328 the chocolate chip ones. My battery's about to die. Thank God I brought another one. Excuse me. Y'all know, y'all from the hood, if y'all have a, a ten of these and it's not cookies inside, comment down below what y'all put in these tins. Some people put hair stuff, sewing, so you turn into a sewing kit. My daughter used to love these cookies. And the Lorna Doom cookies, her grandmother used to always get them for her. His mom spoils the hell out of the, our kids. Like, it's really bad. Like, really, really bad. All right, so we're gonna get the big pack of wafers. There are 326. We usually get the vanilla ones and the strawberry ones, but the strawberry, they don't have it in the bigger pack. So we're gonna have to get two of the smaller packs for 187 a piece. All right, so as you know, we get great value brands. These are knockoff Oreos that taste the same 
for three twenty eight. Twist and shout. That's the cart guy. Go ahead, organize the cart. I would get those. But I have a hard time like sealing those up. My lips ashy. See, regular Oreos is like a, over a dollar and fifty cent more. But look, they got Slim Jims. Great, great value. value. <laughs> Why they look like that? Cause they great value. I don't trust meat from great value. I got them sausages and was like, no. We got that bacon and was like, no. Oh, what they had like a tester cart so you could test stuff. Nobody give up. Do they, they, I just got them cheese curls. They still got some left? Yeah. So you still got funyuns? Oh, no. You ate that whole bag of Funyuns. So we're getting Funyuns for four eighty-four. party size. Party size Doritos for five ninety-four. Do 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 do. Alrighty. Should we get these cheese balls for the kids? Yeah, had to be these don't have a price on them. So but when you shop for food stamps, you don't care. Sorry. Chris said then they free. So these are Utz cheese balls. I'm gonna say they're like around seven dollars. You know what we haven't been drinking too much of? The Gatorade, surprisingly. So we probably don't even need to get any Gatorade. You should have been drinking that to get your first quench. So the Lunchables are $1.87. We're gonna get like 20 of these because when the kids get home from school and dinner's not there, we can give them a Lunchable. I don't care what y'all say either. Or I'm gonna. If they don't want dinner. This is their dinner. <laughs> or yeah, if they don't want dinner, that's their dinner. Y'all gotta remember they kids. So just because y'all sit here and have two plates, I mean your kid want two plates. As right. long as you attempt to give your kid the food, they don't eat it. What you gonna do? Let them go to bed hungry? No, they can have a lunch, food, something else. Whatever. Cause back in the day, y'all used to go to bed hungry if y'all didn't eat. At least we giving our kids an option. Now I used to cook two whole meals, but. I'm not doing that no more. So they'll get a lunchable. They're still eating. And most of the time, the kids is not even hungry as they act. So I'm gonna get lunch meat, which is $8.87 a pound. This is a mega pack oven roasted. No. See, this is the shit I be sucking. Hold on. Okay, because they had me messed up. Honey smoked turkey breast. Another thing, this lunch meat lasts longer than getting it from the deli, and I know that means it has more preservative. Hold on. Hold on. We gonna get um, Hillshire Farm because Hillshire Farm is cheaper. Hillshire Farm is six ninety eight. That one is. Wait, they're all six ninety eight. So why those eight something? It's probably the smaller pack. See, I don't have time for that type of stuff. So, a pound. You want honey ham, babe? Yeah. So we're gonna get a pound of the honey ham. Six ninety eight Hillshire Farm. See, you gotta look at them prices because they'll sneak up on you. They will sneak up on you. We gotta get some Kobe Jack sliced cheese. I like it shingle. It's 
not stacked. So it's easier to pick up. And the package resells back. So when Nova has her grilled cheese, then bada boom, bada bam, bam. We're gonna go down this aisle, then we're gonna come up and we're gonna get our shredded cheese. So hopefully, so Walmart used to have a six pack of the skinny ginger ales for $3.88. I think they went up to $5.18. Sometimes they fluctuate the prices. So I'm gonna see if they went down a little bit at least. <sighs> because it's heartbreaking. Somebody's putting them over. Oh, no, they went up again. 606, what the hell? We could just come back around. So when we get done, he looked like a red nose pit bull. She gonna shake it <laughs> like a red nose. It's like I gotta be nice, y'all. Because if you see customers wanting to get something, like why you don't acknowledge them and be like, y'all trying to get something from over here? Like, bitch, yeah, I'm standing here. Like we the customers. We the reason you got a job, nigga. All right, so we're gonna get this 22 pack of Welsh's for 5.48. We should have went to BJ's. What you looking at, baby? I was saying they had elbow work. For first sure I knew they didn't, but still check it. You starting to play favoritism now. Uh, See, the navy is about time. It's finally something that navy like. It's easy to shop <laughs> a Nova, like yeah. You like, oh, look, bluey. Like, yeah, we used bluey. to get the bluey ones, but she don't eat the bluey ones as much as she eats. The regular ones. Yeah, I think they softer. They probably are. And he's trying to find Elmo fruit snacks for Navy. They don't even got to be sweet. Yeah. But Nova, we know what she likes. She's like, oh, yeah. Bluey. We still got hot chocolate at home. But Navy, you know, like. My baby kicking, y'all. Up, oh, my battery's dying. I have to change it. We're back in business. So, we want to get, see now, I usually would get this five pound bag of cheese, but I don't have an appropriate way to store it. So I'm not gonna get the five. Are you, are you kidding me? So this bag of cheese is seventeen dollars and sixty-two cents. I thought this bag of cheese was seven dollars, and that bag of cheese was like four dollars. All right, y'all. All right, so I have to get this Fiesta blend, two-pound bag of cheese for seven dollars and forty-seven cents. Nova is getting her string cheese for four dollars and 26 cents remember guys we are shopping for the month so if it looks like a lot of food is for the month we don't have too many bulk stores here that have things that we eat so we don't really shop there often but we do get some things from there but they usually end up going bad so yeah yeah, nice. We went down there already. Oh. She gonna shake it. Now I got that song stuck in my... Oh, man. Ain't this usually where the kids stuff at? I don't know. Last time it was on this side. Y'all better have my kids stuff. Yeah, those like look too loud. Too soft. Y'all better have my kids That's right. Um, you like Krabby Patties, don't you, Squidward? Yeah. <laughs> so, the only thing we don't buy in great value is meat. Meat or potatoes. So, if it's like french fries, we don't get them in great value, bro. Oh, they don't have her ice cream? 
Oh no. What's going on, Wally World? What about the birthday cake one? The party cake muffins. Your mom gave her birthday cake ice cream on the porch. Oh yeah. Alrighty. We have to get some waffles. Now I'm gonna get the 24 pack because me and my husband just started eating these and this is $5.97. And the kids can also eat them as well. Huh? Yes, they are. Be quiet. I'm going to get the cinnamon French toast bites. These are 316. I'm going to get the brown and served sausage. 698. They like the maple kind. Our cart is looking full. She gonna shake it. I wanted some Texas toast, but not garlic Texas toast. I wanted like the Texas toast so I could like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm annoying. Oh, let's get the. So we do get um, the variety pack of Capri Suns that's down here for $8.78. It is a 30 pack, so it is a 30 pack and I pack those with Nova's lunch every day. And it's also something for like on the go. So like I said, convenience. Everything, look, they're getting ready for Thanksgiving. They got the little pins and everything out, baby. They said, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. I don't even remember. I want to look at the cheaper section. This is the expensive section. That's the Betty Crocker stuff. My kids don't like microwave pizza either. They don't like bagel bites. That stuff I used to eat. They don't like pizza rolls. They don't like that stuff sooner or later. But right now, they're not having it. And they don't have it. I knew they wasn't going to have it. They open it. Oh. So we're going to get two boxes of these for $3.57. This is also a quick meal that the kids can eat. Yes, I am happy. I'm happy and I'm grateful that I can feed my family. I thought these were supposed to be refrigerated. All right, so remember I told you guys you didn't have um, brown eggs? These are five ninety seven cage free. You could put the bread on top. Get it right. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You crack an egg, I'ma crack your head. It's like, ain't that how parents used to be? If you crack them eggs, I'ma crack your ass. All right, we're gonna get some butter. We get salted butter. And I'm gonna get four sticks of great value for 426. I was gonna get eight sticks, but it's $8.24.
I mean, you save 24 cents, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, nah, it's fine. <laughs> I know. I was just looking at the eggs. <laughs> Usually when you see stuff on rollback, like these, they're not selling. But they're about to expire. So. Like these cinnamon rolls. It's only a little bit left. I bet you they're about to expire soon. Let's look for the expiration date. Well, actually December 30th, but they weren't selling. So I'm gonna get a small pack of these and they are on um, roll back for $198. Oh, look at the tea, babe. Oh, the gallon of tea. You don't want no tea? I always do this to him. The gold peak tea is the best. You want this one? It got lemonade in it. Babe, come on, you see me struggling. No, I thought you were just saying. <laughs> $2.48 for the gold peak tea. It's tea and lemonade. <laughs> I think he be torturing me because he saw me struggling to get that, to get that bottle. Uh, I'm <laughs> what? I'll go fresh because that's strawberry. Do we need heavy cream? I don't think we need no heavy cream. I think we could. We are gonna need, not right now. Every time I go shopping, I think what we're gonna have for dinner. They got the turkeys out. Turkey, turkey. My mom told me this is the best brand, Butterball. <laughs> we still have yogurt. They just don't have their individual yogurt. Like I said, guys, when you have kids, you have to shop for convenience. Well, you don't have to. You can make your life harder, but we like to shop for convenience. I would say they don't have her bluey yogurt. So. See how he's looking for everything for Navy. This is $4.97. Or a 16 pack. So they don't have much stuff that's Elmo. We might have to get it from a different store. They might have it at like ShopRite or something. Oh, sour cream. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That is too big. And you know, we like the squeezy. So we're gonna get a squeeze of the squeezy sour cream. It's $2.84. If you get a two pack of these at BJ's, they're bigger and they're like $6. Which I think is a good deal because I love sour cream. I put it on my chili, I put it on my tacos, I put it on my nachos. Baby, we gotta go down here and get some veggies. I need my pepper onion blend. Pepper onion blend. Let me know in the comments if these pies are good. I need to know from a black person. <laughs> no shade, no shade, baby, no shade. I promise you. Hi. Do we have corn? I don't remember. I just get it. Just All right. I don't remember. Get the bag up top. Chris is getting corn for 98 cents. These used to be 88 cents. But Walmart is doing inflation as well. I'm gonna get some cut green beans for 98 cents. Do you see the pepper onion blend? Looks like they moved it. Oh, thank you. 
I think I walk past it. So babe's gonna get two bags of the pepper onion blend and they are how much babe? 258. 258. That's a big strong man. Go babe. Go babe. Go babe. I'm sad. You can still dance. Do that one dance that you be telling me to do. Oh, no, Where you jump time. from side to side. No, that's your time. I can't do it because I'm cramping. I can't do it because I can't breathe. I do it because I breathe. Do we need any more veggies? I usually cook most of these fresh. Well, I did the broccoli, so. so. And we are, we're, if we're going to the farmer's market, then I can get a couple of heads of broccoli. Because I like to cook it fresh. You should write the company an email. Alrighty, so we're heading off throughout the store to get some other things. We always get distracted when we come to Walmart. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. We are at the farmer's market. We're here super early. It's a lot of stores that's not even open yet. But is that the produce? It looks different from here. But yeah, we're here to get our produce. Hey. <laughs> All right, come on, baby. It's nothing out. It's no great. Should I get one or two? Uh, they look right. These is by the pound, $1.99 a pound. Yeah. 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 These look these look good. What is this? I'm gonna what I would use these for. Oh look, here go bad grapes. Mango. I wonder if those can be juiced right over there. Oops. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got yellow mango. Ooh, these are soft. They're $1.99. I took the fresh in. I guess they don't have that. Do they charge by the bank? They probably don't have them out yet. <laughs> I wonder if they got any like small, oh, the cotton candy grapes. I wanted to try them, but they don't have them. Everybody say they really good. Y'all let me know if my husband's doing a good job recording because he's not even looking. He's just holding the camera. Bring your ass, Mr. Lowe. But I need a sweat high. 
had to slip past. Oh. Ooh. Can you press fix that? <laughs> Stuff in here. Raw honey. So nice. People are so worried about me recording them and I'm not worried about them. How much is this? It comes from an actual farm and not the grocery store. I think I want this. Nova loves watermelons, but these watermelons are too big. Ain't no way we're gonna eat all of these. And they're $10 each. We got peppers already, we got onions. I think we're done here. I just need some romaine lettuce. And we're done. So I'm gonna get like my ground beef in bulk. So I'm gonna break this down. This is $13.78. Which one is more um, pounds? Is it more pounds in the bag? I can't even see. I like to get a smaller roast. These are kind of big. I'm gonna just cut them in half. Storm. This one's 2083. You can use these for like um, hibachis at home, making steak bites. This is really good with like rice. Like if you're doing like hibachi style cooking. I think I'm gonna get this pack for 725. And when I make pepper steak, I use this beef stir fry. Eight eighteen, eight fifteen. So I'm gonna get a pack of these. I actually see the family pack of the beef cubes. Ten eighty four. I'm gonna get these instead. So this is like all the chicken. They got different cuts. If you ever see a season, don't get it. That means it's discolored or bad. Boneless thighs I never got. I see people making that marry me chicken with these. But mm. so this looks like yeah, thumbs, thumbs and thighs. I like to get the cutlets. So I'm going to get like the big pack and break it down. This is actually very cheap. It's a special for four fifty three. And these are smoked turkey. I like to get the smoked turkey booties. <laughs> See, smoked turkey butts for five fourteen. I put these in like my green beans and any type of beans and my um, collard greens as well. Right, babe? They like southern cooking. <laughs> yeah, I, I like, gotta, we should get some beans. I can learn how to make some beans. I like, uh, Remember the last beans I made you like? Oh yeah, they, it was good. Um, ham, hog, pig feet. And we got some of them yeah. in the freezer. And it's mostly because I grew up in the house with my grandma and my mom. So you know my grandma from down south, so that's why pig feet. I sponsored <laughs> this message. I think we done with the meat. I don't get the big frying chickens anymore. These look like chicken backs, livers. This is gizzard stuff you feed like animals. Chicken necks. I got one of these before. We couldn't even finish it. We didn't get any pork today. We don't really eat pork like that. Babe, look, pig ears, pigtails, pigtails like in your hair. Ew, this is what he said he like hog moths. That's disgusting. You don't even know what a hog maw is. 
<laughs> My mom eats stuff like this, crackling. So these are really good. They're cheesesteak rolls. I put them in the air fryer and they be busted. I'm gonna get two packs of that. That one is $7.99. <laughs> be quiet, babe. And this one's seven ninety nine dollars So we got these ginger ales. They were two for seven, which makes them three fifty dollars each. So that was a good deal. They're a six pack. Y'all ever want to know my favorite soda? Day's cream soda is my favorite. Or the Pennsylvania Dutch orange cream soda. That's my favorite too. So after two days worth of shopping, we are finally done grocery shopping. This is our freezer and I took all the meats, not all of them, but some of the meats I got from the meat market, I took them out and packaged them in separate bags and I put the dates and the content on it. This needs organizing. I will make another video about um, Organizing my freezer and my refrigerator and stuff. This is the refrigerator. <laughs> it is not organized. Ugh. I have to put some more refrigerated stuff in there. That's the refrigerator. And I still have some stuff that we didn't finish. Like we went to the dollar store as well and got like some drink packets instead of buying juices because it's cheaper to do it that way. And the pantry needs to be organized as well. Um, but that is our pantry. So that's everything in our pantry. That's everything that we got. We have spent, I'm not sure, but I want to say we spent roughly, I'd say about $400 um, for right now. I think we did very good shopping this time because we usually spend a lot more. But I did a lot of budgeting. I did a lot of bulk buying. And I also went to different stores because stuff is really high. So if I can get something cheaper at a different store, I just went there. And I also got um, something that I didn't show you guys. I got it from Target. This is tart cherry juice. That juice helps, um, or my therapist told me it helps for sleep. So my two year old has a sleeping issue where she still wakes through the night. So we're gonna try some tart cherry juice instead of doing melatonin, which I have not been giving her. But I'm going to try that just to see if it helps with her sleep because that may be a reason why she's so cranky and you know sleep is important. You are not yourself if you haven't sleep. But yeah, and we got some gingies. They were two for seven. Yay, finally, because my husband is sick and if you're sick, ginger ale is medicine. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe with the whole world. See you on the next video. Bye.